And hi, welcome to Far Cry 4. We're going to have a look at all the homestead upgrades. Just outside the front door, after you've done the first Yogi and Reggie mission and gone to Shangri-La and then chucked them out into their tent, this dude will appear by the front door that sells you various bits and pieces. First up's a water faucet. This is around the left side of the house as you're facing the front door, and body armor will always be there, which is pretty useful. And we'll run over and have a little look at it now. It's just there. And you can just walk up to it, get body armor. Um, I tend to come back to the uh, homestead to farm herbs, plants all the time, so it's worth picking up body armor if you're there too. Next up's trading post. This is super useful. I argue um, this and the garden, although the garden first, and then the buzzer are probably the key upgrades here. After that, take whatever you like, doesn't really matter. Uh, but there's the trading post. It's up on the first floor if you're English, one up from the ground, or the second floor if you're from North America, because uh, the ground floor is the first floor for you guys. <laughs> it's up this ladder which is right in front of you as you go through the door, and turn right and you'll see it before you get to the bed. I managed to walk right past it. There it is. <laughs> Uh, turn around and there. So you can use that whenever you want. Now go back downstairs and talk to the dude and we'll go for the exterior upgrade. This one kind of boring, doesn't really do much, just changes the colours of the house. I would really like more things in the homestead to spend money on. Like maybe different paint schemes for the outside of the house. Uh, solar panels. Um, you know, just anything to blow money on would be fun. An interior upgrade. <laughs> this is so bad, all it does is clear some rubbish away. Warm. Look, no rubbish. Uh, and I've played it back here, just side by side, so you can see the actual change. There it is with, there it is without. With, <laughs> no difference. Next up, Moonshine Kit. This isn't bad if you use Molotovs a lot, although they're cheap. Um, but you can probably make your money back from this quite quickly. There's always three or four Molotovs tucked around the back of the building, as you'll see here on this Moonshine still. There, but I tend to be full anyway because I've usually gone to the trading post. <laughs> Next up, interior lighting. This is just pathetic. It's purely cosmetic and it's arguable if it's even cosmetic. In the cutscene you'll see the lights glow. That's kind of fun, right? But then uh, side by side, this is without uh, here and this is with the upgrade. I challenge you to point out the difference. <laughs> I certainly couldn't tell one. Next up we're doing the tree decorations. Um, small amounts of money can sometimes be found here. I've gone there a few times. I've found money a few times. 1500, 2000, something like that. A couple of bunches of 1000. Um, I think I found a 7000 once, but I mean it's not going to be life breaking and it's barely going to pay back the investment. Pinfold, or what I would call I guess a pig pen. This has got throwing knives there. Uh, again, not a bad investment I suppose. Hard to tell, really. I mean, it depends how much you use throwing knives, but again, they're cheap, um, so it's more for decoration. The garden. Now, this is, I think, my favourite upgrade of all, hands down, no questions asked. Uh, it gives you between three and four of each of the plants. You get four red uh, and green, and three yellow, blue, and purple, and maybe two white, maybe three white, I forget. The point is, you can fast travel here, farm the garden. Go sell the excess white, purple and yellow leaves that you probably don't need. Fast travel away somewhere and fast travel back and the garden will be refilled. And you can do this, I tend to go on most missions with 20 or 30 green um, leaves in my bag because I know I'll get through them. And same with hunting syringes, like 24 of each blue and red. Next up's the buzzer. This isn't a bad upgrade but at 400,000 it's pretty steep but it's your own personal buzzer. That will always be there. Great for exploring for kind of most of the north and mid part of the South Island, if I'm honest. It's just going to make travelling there quick. Plus, there's a trade point you can get to beforehand, plus you can stock up on leaves before you go. It's just not a bad combination. And finally, the shrine. You'll see it uh, sporting in here with some money on it. Small amounts of money may appear here, it says. Uh, but next to the candles, there are some um, there's some money flashing. But in my experience, after I took that first one, uh, after I took the first set of money, I have never seen money spawn here again, and I've been here uh, back and forth, obviously a lot of times, for all the um, plots. <laughs> anyway, that's all the upgrades you can do. In total, it's going to cost you about 
or rather exactly since I just paused and added it up, 2.1 million for all the upgrades. But uh, again, the garden for three is probably your most important one. Anyway, on the left is Shangri-La mission. Well, one or two, depending on your point of view. It's the first one you can choose to do other than the story, uh, to ring the second bell to unlock Huntsman. And on the right is DLC mission, the Blood Ruby. I'll see you in this one.